Mingilaba. Welcome to this Burmese grammar lesson. My name's Harriet. Tamaname Harriet ba? In the last video, we learned how to ask and answer when questions when we want to refer to the future. Today, we're going to learn how to ask and answer when questions when we want to talk about the past. Because remember, in English, we just use the one word, when, for asking questions about the past and the future. For example, when is your baby due? Future. And when was he born? Past. But in Myanmar, there's a when for when we're asking about the future, bedole, and there's a when for asking about the past, which is what we're checking out today. Today's lesson is divided into five sections, including a chance for you to practice your Burmese speaking and listening comprehension skills at the end. Most of the phrases in today's video are from this video, 15 Myanmar verb phrases, life events. So feel free to review those phrases first by clicking on the gray link at the top of the screen. Okay, Sintem Pupila, are you ready? Let's go! Let's kick off with the basic way to ask when in reference to the past. Perongale, when. Can you say that? Perongale. Perongale. Excellent. For example, your colleague tells you, My big sister had a baby. Jamaye ama kalimuide. So we say, Oh, really? When? Oh, hola. Pedongale. Have you got it? Try it once more. Oh, hola. Pedongale. Nice one. Let's try one more. This time, listen to your colleague tell you that someone in her family had a baby. See if you can catch who it was and give your response. Ah, oh, really? When? Oh, hola. Pedongale. Here we go. Jamaye nima kalimuire. Oh, hola. Pedongale. Super. And did you hear who it was who had the baby? Her little sister. That's right. She said, Jamaye nima kalimuire. Awesome. So now we know how to ask when when referring to the past. Now let's give ourselves some options to make longer questions. We're going to split our bedongale right here so that we can add our extras in the middle. And we'll need that open-ended question particle le to stay at the end so we can complete our question. Here's what our formula looks like. Beronga verb le, when did something happen? For example, let's take the question, when did you hear? We know the when part. What about the verb? Do you know the verb to hear in Myanmar? Yes, ja, to hear, ja. So using our formula, how would we ask this question? When did you hear? The news, for example. Beronga jale. Beronga jale. Beronga jale. Fantastic. This time, if we use the same formula, how could you ask, when did you see it? Do you know the Myanmar verb to see? Yes, it's mien. So how would we ask the whole question, when did you see it? Excellent. Oh, and when our colleague tells us her sister had a baby, how could we ask the full question? So not just when, but when was it born? What's the verb to be born again? Mue. Right. So we'd say, Beronga muele. When was it born? One more time. Beronga muele. Great. Let's give it a go. 
Listen as your colleague tells you that her sister had a baby and you ask, Oh, really? When was it born? Oh, hola. Peronga muele. Superb. Congratulations. Basic construction complete. You can move to part two, adding nouns to our past when questions. For example, here's a question. When did you start, verb, your new job, noun? All we need are the words for new job, when in the past, and start to work. Do you remember how to say new job in Myanmar? Alo ate. Yes. And when for the past? Beronga le. Good. And finally, what verbs mean start to work? Salo. That's right. So we generally put nouns before the when part like this. Alo ate beronga salo le. Can you say it? Alo ate. Peronga saloli. Super. What about a little bit faster? Alo ate peronga saloli. Well done. Let's try one more like that. How would we say, when did you buy, verb, your house, noun? Like we did before, we'll put the noun first. So, what's the Myanmar word for house? Ain, right. So let's pop that in first. Next comes the verb. How do we say buy? We. So if we put it all together with the noun first, we get Ain beronga wele. When did you buy your house? Shall we practice saying that? Ain beronga wele. Sounds really good. A little bit faster? Well done! So, now we've got the main idea of how to ask past when questions, which is awesome, but how do we answer them? Let's learn some handy phrases so we've got a way to answer if someone asks us a past when question. And today, my friend Meitu has kindly agreed to help us with the real deal Myanmar pronunciation. Yay! So make sure you listen carefully and repeat after me too. Yesterday. Manika. 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 The day before yesterday. Tanika. 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 Last week. Bikere apa. Bikere apa. There's actually more than one way to say last in Burmese. For example, another way to say last week is or But for simplicity's sake, today let's stick with this commonly used and easily understood way to say last. Bikere. So last week is Bikere apa. In which case, using the same word, how would we say last month? Bikere la. Right. What about last year? Bikere ni. Perfect. We can use the same word for days of the week too. For example, last, say, Tuesday. Bikere ingani. Bikere ingani. Easy, right? So how would we say last Saturday? Bikere sanini. Yep, you got it. We can use the same word for any month of the year too. For example, last May. Bikere mila. Bikere mila. And what would last November be? Brilliant. 
Or we might choose to say last year in month of your choice, let's say April. Good. And if we just want to say the year, for example, in 2017, we can say Na Very well done. Finally, what if we want to say X amount of time ago, for example, four months ago? As you can see, we start off with Lungkere, followed by the number, then the time period, and finish it up with Ga, which is like a time marker. So if we take four months ago as our test case, can you work out how we'd say it? Right. Using the same formula, how would we say two weeks ago? Yes, that's it. Very good. And the last one from scratch, how would you say five years ago? Yay, excellent. So, we've got quite a few bits and pieces to use, so shall we practice putting them together? Listen to your friend ask you, when did you move house? And you reply in Myanmar, three weeks ago. Are you ready? Did you get it? If so, great stuff. How about we try it a little faster? You give the same answer. Ready? Yay, well done. This time your friend asks you, when did he pass away? Tell her, last October. Sorry, I should have reminded you that we need to say last October, bikere October la, and then put a ga on the end as that time marker. Bikere October la ga. Let's try it one more time. Listen to the question and give the response. Petonga te son tuale. Bikere October la ga. Well done. This time, your friend asks you when you had your operation. Tell her the day before yesterday. Ready? Yes, that's right. Once more. Excellent. Now, your friend is asking after some adorable kids you've been telling her about. She wants to know, when did they start school? Tell her, in 2019. Ready? Let's do it. Well done if you figured that out. Let's run through it again. Listen to the question and give your answer. In 2019. Ooh, awesome! Now, when your friend asks you when you graduated, tell her it was last month. Here we go. Nice one. One more time. Listen to the question and give your answer. Sounding great. Okay, last one for part four. Your friend asks you, when did they get married? Get ready to say, two years ago. Here we go. Well done. Ready to speed it up a bit? Got your answer ready? Hooray, you're speaking Myanmar. You're a star. 
Congratulations, you've made it to the final part where you get to keep training your language muscles by continuing to practice your Myanmar speaking and your listening comprehension. So this time, you ask the question, when did you have your operation? And then listen to your friend's reply. When was it? It's all yours. Pikere apaka. Did you hear when it was? Yes, pikere apaka. Last week. Have another go. Ask the question one more time, peronga kwesele, and listen to the response. Pikere apaka. Well done. This time, ask your friend, when did you move house? Then listen out for what she says. All right, when you're ready. Did you catch it? Three days ago. Great. Give it another go. Ask the question, and listen to the answer. Fantastic. This time, ask your friend when they started their new job. And then listen. When did they start? Over to you. Got it? The day before yesterday. Yay, well done. Give it another go. Ask the question. Alo ute peronga sa loli and listen to her answer. Tanika. You're doing so well. This time you're asking your friend, when did they get divorced? His parents maybe? Peronga gua shele. What's his response to your question? Are you ready? Go. Did you hear six years ago? If so, woohoo! If not, oh, never mind. <laughs> Either way, try it once more. Ask your question and then listen. Over to you. Super! Now, ask your friend, when did you graduate? When was it? Ready? All yours. April Lama. Did you hear it? In April. Good. Ask her once again. If you want, you could try it a bit faster this time. Then listen. Your turn. April Lama. Good job. Hey, this uncle looks familiar. Perhaps you could ask him when he started his own business. Go by and see boy Bedonga Saloli. Then we can find out what he says. Okay, over to you. Oof, that was a lot of sounds to process. 1998 in September. Tangoya goze We'd better have another go. Ask your question, Uncle. Ule, go bain si boye bedonga salole and listen again to catch his response. Your turn. Tongku ya kuse shi setemba laka. Well done. Ooh, last one. Could you please ask your friend when she went to France? Piente naigangu bedonga duale. Then try to decipher what she says. Ready? Off you go. Shall we check? Yes, she went to France last year in December. Excellent. Can we hear you again? Ask your question. And then listen. It's all yours. Congratulations! You have won the prize of knowing how to ask past when questions in Myanmar. 
I'm sure you'll find it's a really handy structure to know, so keep practicing so you can whip out your when questions whenever you need them. Oh, and for a bonus translation challenge, why not see if you can figure out what's going on in these conversations and write your translation in the comments section below. Thank you for joining me on the Myanmar learning journey today. Don't worry if you don't remember much from today, totally normal. Repetition is the key, right? So have a break and watch again another day. Keep up your great learning. See you again next time.